What's up guys? It's EB and you're watching Disney Surprise Toy Club. Today we are going to be doing a new Play-Doh set that is Angry Birds and we found this at Toys R Us for $13 and it was really cool and I thought it would be fun to play with for you guys. So let's get it open and see what's inside. Okay guys, we got it finally open and it came with a bunch of stuff. We have six Play-Dohs, uh, one yellow, one black, one pinkish red, one blue. We got two green of the same color it looks like. It's not darker, lighter, just two of the same color green. We got a, some um, molds for the uh, birds. And then we got some of these boxes, and it looks like these are also molds for the birds, the angry birds. We got a red one, and then this one has um, stars on the back of it. I don't know why, but just for stars. <laughs> we got an angry bird. Um, and it's pretty big actually. It would be kind of like a toy it looks like, but it's not. And it's also a mold for a pig. I don't know if you guys can see that very well. We're gonna... Okay guys, can you guys see that? It kind of looks like a pig. I'm gonna take the plastic off and you can't, can't really see it right now, but it looks like a pig. <laughs> And then we got a green box. Again, it's like the red box. It's a mold. And it has a shovel on the back of it. And then in the middle, it has a bird and a pig. And then we got some things I can't really see. I think you guys put these on top. Let me, I'll open those and show you guys that later because I can't even see that. And then we got a shovel. I'm gonna guess this is what you attach to something to throw them. And then these are also molds it looks like. Eggs possibly? I'm not quite sure. So let's get these open. I'm gonna open the Play-Doh first. Looks like you don't even need scissors for these. They have tape on them. So there's our green. Just for going fast. Then we got our black and our yellow right there. Open this up. And then we got our pinkish red, and then we got our light blue. Now we're gonna open up the molds. Scissors. There's our mold. And actually, now that I'm looking at it, this piece looks like it kind of connects with 
that. Yes. And you pull it back and go. Oops. <laughs> okay. And then we got this. So let me open this. See, okay, this is what was in the package that we couldn't see before. I don't know what these are yet. Hopefully, it'll dawn on to me what these are when I get to making it. It doesn't really have instructions. I'll have to look on the box again. Then, then we got this Angry Bird. Get this open. And remember, I said there was a pig on it. I think you can kind of see it better now. You see it as like. It kind of, can you guys see it? It kind of has like an X there and his tongue sticking out. He kind of looks like a beat up. A beat up pig but this is the little angry bird right here okay guys so I finally figured out what I'm supposed to do and um, we are going to start shaping molding I'm going to do the yellow bird first so let's get this going Okay, so I'm gonna first start with this yellow one, and hopefully it turns out okay, because I'm really bad at uh, Play-Doh. <laughs> but I'm gonna get the Play-Doh open. Uh-oh, uh come on, come, oh no. And that pretty much actually, no, I'm gonna, whoops, there it goes. I'm gonna put some in here too. Oh no. Okay, and we what we do is we smush it like a sandwich. And hopefully I have no idea how that turned out. So hopefully it turned out okay. And we go and take the excess off. And that is our guy right there. He's a, he's a little wrinkly, but he's okay. I'm gonna try to put black on him and see how he turns out. Okay guys, I finally finished my uh, gir- or yellow guy, I guess, sorry, I was about to call him green. Um, and he doesn't really have a beak. I don't know if I did that on accident while I was uh, doing his little eyebrows and his eye and his hair. But uh, yeah, no, he doesn't have a beak anymore. But I'm gonna let you guys get a closer look. There he is closer. I didn't do, for my next bird, what I'm gonna do is put the uh, colors on in the mold before I mold it so they can all stick together I didn't do that but I'm gonna try it this time see if it turns out better and the next bird I'm gonna do is the red one the angry bird the main angry bird so I'm gonna try to do make him so let's get started with that one and then I'm gonna need the same three colors and I'm going to first off put yellow in his beak you only need a little bit for this so
Okay, so I got his beak in there. That was kind of actually harder than what I thought it was going to be. And then I'm going to give him his eyebrows. Okay, I got his eyebrow in there. Do you guys see that? And now I'm going to put red over him. So let's get the red on him. I'm going to be very gentle with him because I don't want to mess up his eyebrow or his, his beak. And then for his back, all you have to do is just put red in it. Okay, so let's smush him and see how he looks. Hopefully he turns out okay. Hopefully this turned out okay, okay. It did, it did, it didn't, it, I mean, it didn't turn out too bad. It kind of smudged a little bit, but you can just kind of fix that real quick. Things. Hopefully. It'll be okay. Oh no. Okay, that's our little angry bird. I'm gonna let you guys get a closer look. And that's our little angry bird. Closer for you guys. It turned out pretty good. Um, and again, it's cracks, but they're gonna get smushed anyways at the end of it. Okay, so next I'm gonna be doing the pig. Um, and it's green. So, I don't know why my uh, Play-Doh set came with two greens, but I guess I'm going to have to make a few of them by the looks of it. Okay, so I'm going to make the pig now. You can... Get it in there. Mm, now I think I know why actually they gave you two greens. This green goes pretty fast for how big this pig is. And then you squeeze it like a sandwich. Oh, I don't know if you squeeze sandwiches. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't. But, okay. So, again, he's a little wrinkly, but this is our pig. He's actually pretty cute. He, he turned out pretty good. And I am going to make little dots for his eyes. nostrils and then you have to like
This is my little piggy, closer. Um, he doesn't, isn't perfect, but I think he turned out pretty good. And for my first piggy. And I'm gonna set him in aside and make another one, cause you need a lot of pigs for this. So, I'm gonna put him down and make another one. Okay guys, so I'm finally done with my other piggy, and this is my first piggy. I think I kinda got a technique down for my second one, cause I think this one looks better than this one. But, I could be wrong. So I got these done, and so I can move on to the next thing. And the next thing is gonna be these blue birds, the blue birds. Okay, well, I'm gonna... <laughs> I decided the, br the blushing was hard to do first. So what I'm gonna do is do the blushing after, but I am gonna do the beak, oops, because the beak is a little bit easier to mold, and we'll just do the blushing after. And then, once you're done with the beak, you take the blue. I put, I kind of flatten it out before I put it in the mold. And that's actually pretty helpful, I found out. Okay. And then you smush it. are the birds that you, I believe, fling from the catapult. So we're going to put up black dot for his eyeballs, or for his pupil. That's our bluebird. Right there. He's very cute. And I actually am gonna probably make a couple more of these. So we have more birds to throw. So I will be right back. Okay guys, so I am done with these little bluebirds. Um let me get it so you guys can see it better. Okay, and I mean three of them and only because I have no idea that's how much you should make but that's how much I made so what I'm gonna do is get this thing set up and shoot it off okay guys we got it all set up and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my three little bluebirds in this thing and it's not really allowing me to 
Uh, so they're not, they're all gonna get smashed anyways. So I'm gonna, you're not gonna be able to see me, but I'm gonna pull it back and see if it knocks us down. We have to knock down that king, um, the king pig. So ready guys? Well then, that was uneventful. Okay, hold on, one more time. Awesome! We got it knocked down! So, thank you so much for watching, guys. I had, I hope you guys had as much fun as I did with doing this. Um, yeah, so thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe, comment on what you want us to do, and we'll try our hardest to do it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!